uh, good evening and welcome to, to today's presentation. Uh, good evening and welcome to today's presentation. We are glad that uh, the Lord has uh, brought us uh, to this evening, to the study once again. So we'll pray and then we uh, begin. Let us pray. Father Lord, we come unto you this moment. We thank you because you've given us a chance to come to you and listen to your word. The grace that you have granted unto us that we may be alive to hear your word and above all what the devil is planning in the events that are forthcoming to this world. We pray that Lord, your blessing may be upon us, that you may give us the courage to stand and the power to overcome. It is our prayer that you send your spirit to speak unto us and reveal unto us all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, uh, we are doing the series on uh, the studies on spiritualism. We started yesterday. We, we did lay a foundation of uh, what we were studying yesterday. And the foundation was on uh, the book of Genesis, where we looked at the issue of uh, the state of those who are dead. And we studied a lot of things. We had a long list of uh, what death means and what uh, uh, happens and what does not happen. And we saw that uh, uh, death is not an ambulance that carries people unconsciously to the gates of heaven. And heaven is not an ICU where unconscious patients wake up to ask where they are, not knowing what happened. So we all looked at all that. And the main uh, text uh, was uh, the book of Genesis where God said, uh, you will surely die. Uh, should you disobey the commandment that I have given you? And now we are going on through uh, the studies. Today we are going to define what spiritualism is. Uh, so the series is on, on studies uh, studies on spiritualism. Our key text is Revelation 16, 13, and it is written, I saw, and I saw three un unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, out of the mouth of the false prophets. Uh, verse 14, for they are spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of uh, God Almighty. So we have a battle here. The devil is busy gathering all the world and he's using um, uh, miracles. We said miracles give a context of worship because outside the miracles, there are things that happen with supernatural powers. They are called magic. They're not called miracles. So when the Bible mentioned miracles, there's a context of, of worship. So the devils are the ones who are working these miracles. That means there's a worship context and they are gathering the leadership of this world, the kings of the earth, and then all the world together uh, to battle uh, against God Almighty. So these unclean spirits like frogs, we will study the why frogs uh, later on on a certain uh, topic. Now, Genesis 3, 1 is where we, from 1 downward, where we get the concept uh, that forms uh, the foundation of uh, the whole teaching of spiritualism. And we saw uh, that uh, uh, the devil uh, spread the lie that, uh, that you shall not surely die. That is what the serpent said to the woman. For so he was uh, subtle. Uh, 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 subtle than any beast of the field. So he told the woman, you shall uh, not surely die when God said you shall surely die. So it's an opposite. And he says, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be God's knowing good and evil. So according to the devil, he had this rosy picture that disobeying God is uh, not going to cause death. It will actually cause uh, people to move from one level of existence to a higher level of existence is kind of a, a journey of self-discovery. It seems like what he was saying is that there is something that God is denying you. You need to discover. It is within you. 
you just need to let yourself make your own route and then you will you will move up the level of existence so death according to the devil is not really death it is actually moving from one place to another from a lower place to a, a higher place so according to him death is actually a bridge from one world of existence to the next world of existence uh uh it it is not death that is what uh, the devil brought to the world now the the biggest junk of the christian fraternity believe in the lie people don't really die they move from uh, earth to hell or earth to heaven so that is not possible in the in yesterday's study so according to the greatest portion of christianity today uh, that is what they believe in the exact lie of uh, uh, the devil now we will start with two apparent apparent disagree, uh, disagreements and then we get into the study the first one is found in the book of uh, uh, the book confrontation page 90 to 91 ellen g white says we are not she she speaks about the scriptures uh, being fulfilled in people who are blind uh, who are deluded by the devil and they work at the will of the demons they have allied themselves to the powers They have allied themselves to the powers of darkness and have no strength to, to go contrary to the will of the demons. So there are people who have been taken captive by the demons and they are working under uh, the demons. And then he, she says, we are not to attend their circles, neither are our ministers to engage in controversy with them. Uh, they, are of that, uh, they are of that class specified whom we should not invite even into our houses. We are not to engage in an investigation of spiritualism. God has investigated this for us. So that seems kind of contradictory. We are having a series on investigation, but the court says we are not to engage in investigation of spiritualism because God has done that for us. So what is the meaning of this? Just go back up here. We are not to attend their circles. So what she's trying to say is that we are not to engage in their activities, not to study, but to engage in their activities. We are not allowed. You know, you cannot... Uh, measure the debt of a snake's hole using your hand. You know, you will be the, the most stupid person in the world. You want to know the debt of the hole of a snake, you put your hand inside to measure it. So you are trying to understand spiritualism and you decide, uh, let me join the Illuminati, and then I know what they do. So that is what she's trying to say. You don't uh, try to get into, uh, attend the circles, or uh, uh, get into this organization so that you 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 have a clue what is what is what is happening. So that is what the court is saying. And Science of Times, August fifth, eighteen eighty six, says we should study the nature, the character, and the extent of this spiritual wickedness in high places, lest we become the dupes of the power of darkness. But how difficult it is to awaken minds to realize the continual activity and great earnestness of our willy for notwithstanding the warnings and cautions of the bible so we are exhorted that we should study the nature the character the extent of spiritual wickedness in high places so we are to investigate what that is what we are told so citing spiritualism citing spiritualism that is what we are looking at the title for today's study, citing spiritualism. So how do you know what spiritualism is from the definition and where can we see it uh, depicted in different uh, facets of our life throughout uh, 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 our extent of living? So citing spiritualism is uh, today's title. Now, question uh, number one. What is the history of spiritualism? Let us start with the history of spiritualism. Spiritualism goes back uh, to 1848, modern spiritualism, that is. Uh, the two, uh, we have two sisters who are called Catherine, who is 11 years old, Margareta Maggie, who is 14 years old. They were living in a house in Heightsville, New York, Paris, uh, and they were Methodists. Methodists. And this house was quite, uh, had a repetition of being haunted. So we have these uh, stories that come from movies, haunted houses. 
but it wasn't until late March that the family began to be frightened by unexplained sounds that at times sounded like knocking and other times like moving of furniture. So there was a repetition, nothing happened, but by late March of 1848, something started happening. They were moving uh, of, of furniture and things in, in the houses and knockings. Uh, in 1888, Margarita told the story of the mysterious rapping. So there were rappings that were happening. Now, during uh, the night of March 31st, Kate challenged the invisible noise maker, presumed to be a spirit, to repeat the snaps of her fingers and his teeth. So this is a kid. Remember, these are teenagers, 11 to 14, and 14. They are teenagers. They are not all people who are experienced. Uh, they, are, they are teenagers. And... Uh, they decided to challenge this spirit that was doing the rapping to repeat uh, the, the, the snaps that uh, these two girls did. And um, the girls addressed the spirit as Mr. Splitfoot, which is a nickname for the devil. Remember, uh, the devil is represented as a god in the Old Testament, in the world today, and the god has a split foot. So they nicknamed this entity, which was doing the, the rappings, Mr. Splitfoot and a nickname for the devil. Later, alleged uh, entity creating the sounds uh, was blamed to be the spirit of whoever called Charles B. Uh, someone. But uh, there was no person who uh, ever called uh, uh, that uh, that name. So this is where modern spiritualism spring up, sprang up in uh, sprang up in 1848. Now, August uh, 24th, 1850, I saw that the mysterious rappings were the power of Satan. Some of it was directly from it, some indirectly through his agents. But it all proceeded from Satan, that is early writings, page 59. So Ellen White wrote about this mysterious rapping from uh, the, the homestead, and she said it was uh, 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 the power of the devil himself and his, uh, his, uh, his demons. Of, of course, so that is what we, we get now. Uh, Wikipedia speaks about these sisters, the Fox sisters, who uh, are the three sisters from New York who played the important role in creating the modern spiritualism. Uh, the, their ages are there. The two younger sisters used the wrappings to confuse their older sister. So they had an older sister. Remember, they were 11 and 14 at that time. There was an older sister. So they used the wrappings to convince their older sister that they were communicating with spirits and the older sister took charge of them and managed their careers. So these are teenagers who started a career of uh, this spiritualism. And the sister, the bigger sister, decided to manage. So it's kind of like they became celebrities and they needed a manager. So the older sister became uh, the manager of, uh, of, of them. So that is where modern spiritualism sprang up in 18... 40, uh, 48. And in 1888, Mar Mar Margareta confessed that, well, it was a sham. So the, the, the dates are quite uh, interesting dates. Now, today, the, that homestead is uh, uh, considered kind of a museum. Uh, it, 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 is, it, is, it has been designated as a museum. It is called the Haunted History tra Trail, where people can walk and see where modern spiritualism sprang, uh, sprang from. It is the home of the Fox uh, sisters. So uh, the American organization of spiritual uh, spiritualists, they wrote a book called Sentinelia Book for Modern Spiritualism in America. And they say this in page 69, uh, March 1st, 1848, ushered in a new era for the human race, an era which had its beginning with the tiny raps at Hyde's field and will culminate only in the distant cycles of the future. So they write this book and they acknowledge that this date was uh, an important date in kind of laying the foundation of modern spiritualism. Spiritualism has existed since the devil uh, said that you shall not surely die. But now the modern version of it uh, that has been uh, prepared for the modern society, uh, the modern version, is uh, uh, um, said to have begun uh, in the uh, Fox home uh, at Hydesville in March the 1st, 1848. So uh, in page 69, it continues to say, it has born in humility and obscurity, these were poor family, persecuted and maligned. Oh, 
the spiritualism, modern spiritualism was persecuted. So that is uh, the awarding. In its infancy and youth, doubted, ridiculed, virile on every hand, it has steadily grown until it has many million adherents. It has crept silently into the pages of popular book, books, magazines, newspapers, as well as stage and screen. So spiritualism is everywhere. It is in popular books, whether they are school books, a magazine, newspapers, the stage, drama, theater, the screen throughout the world until unconsciously the public mind has been educated and molded into conformity thereof. That's why the biggest portion of Christianity believe that people don't die, they migrate from this world to another. That spiritualism, whether it is in church, whether it is in schools, whether it is in the magazine, whether it is in the movies and all the media, the, the, the popularization of the idea uh, that people somehow migrate, they, they, they cross over from this world to the next. Spiritualism is, is the coming universal religion. It is the life and blood of Christianity. Uh, well, that is quite a statement. In fact, it is Christianity plus. So it, it, it is Christianity 2.0, that is what they are saying in page 69 of uh, this, this book. The, the book is quite a read. Uh, this is the book, uh, 100 Anniversary of Modern Spiritualism. So spiritualism now circles the world, that is what they say in page 5, uh, embracing millions of sincere adherents from every walk of life. At first, it was thought uh, it was thought a book of a few pages would be sufficient, but the scope of the work and light as we progress. So as they were making this book, they thought they would just make a small pamphlet, but they, they, they made a heavy book because uh, according to them, is it is actually uh, growing and millions believe uh, in it. Uh, early writings, page 59, as a general thing, spirit, spiritualists have denied the Bible and derided Christianity. That is how it started. They derided Christianity and denied the Bible. Today, as you have seen, they actually say uh, spiritualism and Christianity are the same thing. It's actually an addition to Christianity. Now spiritualists are changing their methods, and many call themselves Christian spiritualists, and declaring that it will not answer, it will not answer to ignore religion and affirm that they have uh, the true Christian faith. So they have the true Christian, bearing in mind also that many prominent clergymen are in sympathy with. Uh, with spiritualism. These modern magicians will be permitted to imitate the word, the work of God. So they are called modern magicians. They remember it is the spirits of the devil working miracles. So these are uh, the modern magicians for today. Now the root meaning of this great word spiritualism is clearly traced to God. This is what they write in their book, page 34. Uh, spiritualism the ism refer, referring and relating to its main doctrine, the father, mother, good of God, and the brother and sister good of all races, the innate divinity of man. So that is very quite clear uh, 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 de uh, derivation of what the, the serpent said. So we have the family of God, father, mother, mother, good of God. Remember what we, we, we studied when we were doing the, 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 the series on media? that we have families, family of God, father, mother, a God, and then brother and sister would all rest as the inner divinity. Man has a spark of divinity in himself. He just needs to discover, just uh, needs to start that journey of self-discovery. So that is what uh, they say, according to them. So where do we get this language in the Bible? We already saw that. We saw now the serpent was more subtle, subtle than any of the beasts of the field in Genesis. Three from one going down. He said unto the woman, Nay, hath God said, so bringing doubt, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. The woman spoke, and uh, we may eat of the tree of the garden, uh, but of the tree of the knowledge, of, which is the tree which is in the midst of the, uh, of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest he die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die, ye shall be as God, knowing good. And evil. You have something within you, you just need to discover it by yourself, and you don't need someone giving you direction. That is what the serpent said. And page 70 of their book, Centenario Book of Modern Spiritualism, they say a new truth 
was born to the world in 1848, a new truth, the truth that there is no death. That this thing, uh, that this thing, death is only another name for change. So death is change. You are changing from one form to another form, from the physical form to a spiritual form. That this life is only, uh, only the same and life uh, beyond the real. So uh, death is a change. It is a bridge. It is you know uh, a migration from one state to the next. That is the new truth that was born. Uh, in, by modern spiritualism in 1848, by common acceptance, uh, much that uh, that passed 1848 in the death that that has officially been celebrated as the day when the raps at Hydesville in New York, uh, in the home of the Fox family, heralded to the world the stupendous message: there is no death, and there are no dead. So they are quite straightforward. They are not just trying to come up with things. They are, they are quite straightforward. Uh, just getting the concept from the book of Genesis 3, serpents lie, there is no death, there are no dead. The news astounded the world, the judge sneered, the world condemned, but the fear has gone for, that is page 68. And uh, the folks, uh, uh, there is this person who was one of the best friend of folks, girls uh, ever had arranging a meeting for them. Their mediumship gave the answer to the old age uh, question if man dies, shall he live again? That is a question uh, that Job asked in the book of uh, Job, chapter 14, verses 10. It was proven uh, we no longer need a priest or a preacher to tell us to have faith in God. If we accept the teachings of the church, we will, uh, uh, but that if we accept the teaching of the church, we'll have eternal life. So, according to them, they don't require a preacher to tell them to have faith and that there will be a reward of eternal life, that is what uh, they are actually they are saying. So instead, we have learned that uh, instead we, we have learned we are spirit here and now, part of God. In the fullness of time, every soul will come to its own uh, that we reap and that we uh, that we reap what we sow. So uh, according to them, every soul is part of God. God is, it is called pantheism. God is in every person, every creature, uh, every soul is part of God. So we have a spark of divinity. So what is spiritualism? So we, we looked at a little history of uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the beginning of spiritualism. Uh, so what is spiritualism? Now, according to Merriam-Webster dictionary, the view that spirit is a prime element of reality. I believe that spirits of the dead communicate with the living usually through a medium. That is what spiritualism is, according to Merriam Webster. Now, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, spiritualism in religion is a movement based on belief that departed souls can interact with the living. And spiritualists sought to make contact with the dead, usually through an assistant or a medium. Uh, a person believed to have the ability to contact the spirit. So, spiritualism is that, uh, 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 that believe that the people who die can still speak, uh, contact can still be contacted by those who are living through someone called a medium. And some mediums work while in a trance-like state, so they, they empty the mind and then the demons come uh, and, and and take over their, their minds. Some claim the, some claim to be the catalyst for various paranormal physical phenomena, including materializing or moving objects. So when they are holding seance, when they are holding audience with the spirits, who say, uh, who, who masquerade as the people who die, uh, there are things that happen sometimes, moving objects. Uh, uh, we will be looking at some of these issues in, the, the, in some of the studies, so uh, make sure you, you stick on. So spirit, according to the Dictionary of Mysticism by Frank Gaynor, Gayon, Spiritualism, uh, defined by National Spiritualist Association of America, is the science and philosophy and religion of continuous life based upon the demonstration, demonstrated fact of communication by means of mediumship, mediumship with those who live in the spirit world. So this is what the, this association say it is the science, the philosophy, the religion. So all these things put together based on the fact that there is communication uh, through mediumship to the spirit world. So death is a new path into spiritual body without any change in individuality. 
and character and without impairment of memory. So remember, according to them, death is a change. Death is a migration. Death is a bridge. You're just moving from one state to another. Your character remains. Your individuality remains. Now, uh, spirit trapping, uh, the noises had at spiritualistic seances through which the spirits of the departed are believed to communicate with the living. Uh, uh, remember, these are the spirits of the devils uh, who are working miracles. Now, Spiritism, we have a difference, a little difference between spiritualism and spiritism. Spiritism is the French form of spiritualism, based on the belief in continued, uh, continued life of the conscious personality after death, in the possibility of communicating with the spirits of the deceased, but including among its principles also the belief in reincarnation. So spiritism is not just about communication with the departed souls but it also involves uh, the belief in reincarnation. Spiritualism doesn't uh, include reincarnation. Uh, uh, so that is what spiritism includes uh, together. So spiritualism and spiritism, when you try to see the relationship, you will find out that they are, it is, uh, those two aspects are related with a lot of religions that are found in the world today. Uh, theosophy, religion, mysticism, uh, uh, Agnosticism, Buddhism, Taoism, Paganism, Jainism, uh, religion, sh Shamanism, Sikhism, Hinduism, Christianity, a big jungle of Christianity, Philema, Hermetism, Ham Wicca, Atheism, Islam, the religion, Hermetism, uh, Wicca, and Atheism, and all the other, Zoroatism, and Metaphysic, and Satanism. So, all these isms, they have, uh, when we try to search spiritualism, uh, they are related. They are there are some concepts that uh, they share about the whole uh, the whole study, the whole concept of spirituality. So, what are the synonyms of spirituality? Uh, synonyms. Those are things that the other terms that can be used to uh, to uh, to speak of the same concept. We have mysticism. We have Kabbalism. We have supernaturalism. We have idealism. We have necromancy, theosophy, insubstantiality. So all these are synonyms. They are near, near words to spiritualism. Uh, they just have probably a different concept or a different explanation of the 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 the, 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 the real the, the real name uh, concept. So kind of different perspective. So these are the synonyms. So anytime you see mysticism and Kabbalism and all these isms and necromancy and theosophy, they they, they are always have. Uh, the uh, the founding concept of spirituality. Now, page 44 of their book, Sentinel, your book of uh, modern spiritualism, spiritualism has given a new heaven and a new earth. The old heaven and uh, hell have been modernized and fitted up with modern ideas, regardless of all, all creeds, regardless of uh, all creeds and uh, notions. Man is now divine, manifest in flesh. So according to them, man is divine, manifest in, in flesh. Spiritualism invests, invites all to join its ranks. Spiritualism offers freedom of thought, liberty of action, the richest opportunity of doing good and being good. That's quite an advertisement. That's quite an adver advertisement for spiritualism. And uh, the God or God or the devil, heaven or air, both in this world and the next, without the chances of prison. So it offers the opportunity of uh, doing good and being good. That is what they say. And there is there is no prison. Mm. There is no prison. There is no hell. There is no heaven. It gives you the knowledge of all the great systems of religion. Still more, it gives you more knowledge of Christian Bible than all the commentaries combined. Oh, so spiritualism. He explains to you the Bible better. The Bible is a book of spiritualism. That, that is quite that is quite a description. So the people who started by denying the Bible and deriding the Bible now accept the Bible and boast uh, the Bible and Christianity is actually a religion under their their concept of spiritualism. Now uh, the, uh, the the book Isaiah. Uh, we are told here, according to them, there are no chances of prison. Now, the devil, uh, the devil is someone who puts people in prison. The grave is a prison. 
in the book of Isaiah, there is this, the description of the fall of Lucifer. Now, when you read that Isaiah 14, actually, if you have a Bible that has titles, it will tell you the, 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 the story of the fall of Lucifer is under the fall of Babylon. Uh, they are very, very related. And verse 16 uh, is of uh, Isaiah 14, they shall see, remember, we are speaking about, the Bible is speaking about Lucifer. They shall see uh, thee narrowly, uh, look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth tremble, that did shake the nations, that opened not the house of his prisoners? So the devil holds people who die as his prisoners. That's why when Michael came to resurrect, uh, Christ, uh, Christ came to resurrect Moses, uh, the devil was trying to prevent, because remember, uh, the God of the dead, remember yesterday we said God is the God of the living, that is why he's saying, but the one who guards the dead, and he, remember, the devil is a sinner from the beginning, and he's a murderer from the beginning, that is what Christ told the Pharisees, that your father, you are of your father, the devil, and he has been a murderer from the beginning, a liar and a murderer. So uh, death is his domain. So he's the God of the dead. And anyone who dies, he wants to claim as his own. So when Christ came to resurrect Moses, uh, he was there to try and argue with Christ. Uh, you can read that in the book of uh, uh, Jude. So he keeps people in the graves as his prisoners. Uh, but we are told by the spiritualists in their book that there is there is no prison. Unfortunately, the devil has deceived them. Now, Christ himself, with the angels who had buried Moses, came down from heaven, remember, uh, to call for the sleeping saint. Satan exulted at his success in causing Moses to sin against God. And thus, uh, had come under the dominion of death. The great adversary declared the sentence, Thus thou art, unto thus shall return shalt thou return. So he's quoting God. He's telling God by quoting God. Uh, gave him possession of the dead. So the dead are under the dominion of the devil. So the power of the grave had never been broken. And all who were in the tomb, he declared as his captives, never to be released from his dark, pri uh, from his dark prison. So the tombs and the graves was uh, the prison house. But when Christ resurrected, we are told in Revelation, he took the keys of the grave. So, so praise God for that. That is Patriots and Prophets 478. God, remember, is not God of the dead, but of the living. But after the resurrection of Christ, Christ took over. Now he uh, he has the key of the grave. Now the, the God of the dead goes back to the old civilization. Osiris uh, was considered uh, the God of fertility and afterlife and death and resurrection and life and visitation. So Osiris was the God of the dead. And then there, is, there was a transition. Death was a transition uh, from death to afterlife. Uh, so there is the, the, a long history of these gods of the dead, and uh, a, a long list of them is given of these gods from their different uh, civilization. So the list is quite long. Of uh, if you try to look at Ra, Ra was the god of the dead. So there are several gods of the dead in in the Egyptian. Civilization Ra is one of the god of the dead in Egyptian civilization, and uh, Osiris and the Thought, and we have Hermes and all the other gods who are gods of the dead, and they represent the devil who is trying to guard uh, his people, his, his prisoners, the graves. So in short, uh, in, in the short, in short, the core teaching of spiritualism is what. Now, a new truth was born into the world, we are told, in 1848. The truth is that there is no death, the, that this thing called death is another name for change. So that is what we, we are told. And the man is now divine and manifest in flesh. That is the truth that is now being propagated. That death is not death. Uh, it is a, a, a stage of uh, a bridge. Uh, and it is... In all these pagan religion, Freemasonry, when you read the book Morals and Dogma, which uh, by Alpha, by page 17, which is kind of uh, the, the, the guiding book for Scottish right Freemasonry, they say the soul is immortal. Uh, the Masonry has its decalogue, which is the law, to its initiates. There are 10 commandments. So they have 10 commandments. Commandment number two says the soul is immortal. So that is what they say. When you go to a religion called Taoism or uh, Taoism, uh, they also have the tenets, their teachings. Uh, we have the Tao, Day, and then immortality. 
so they also have the mortality of uh, the soul. Now, most religions teach that after the soul within us leaves the body and lives on for eternity. And it is shared, it is a shared teaching of Hinduism and Zoroatism and Judaism and Buddhism and Christianity and Islam and Baha'i, as well as the native tribe of religions throughout Africa, America, and elsewhere. So it is a teaching anywhere and everywhere, even in Christianity. We are told this is Christianity today. Billy Graham is in heaven, so he did not die. He actually migrated uh, from, 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 from earth to heaven. And uh, uh, that is the belief for most people. Uh, unfortunately, by the way, Bill Graham was a Freemason. Now, that's a long, a long story. Uh, but we, we, we are told by this Christian newsletter that he, uh, he is in heaven and his funeral guest got a glimpse of that. So that is the teachings that we have today. All the smiling with angels and all that. And we also have this, it is called the Catechism of Lucifer by Johannes. Uh, worship death, the perdition of all, abandon all secular bonds. Now, I'm not sure if you can read the, the handwriting there, but uh, the, this is the, the Ten Commandments of uh, Satanism. Uh, we, we saw uh, uh, spirituality has, uh, has uh, Freemasonry has Ten Commandments. We also have Satanism has Ten Commandments. The Ninth Commandment says that they should worship death. And uh, within this handwriting, I'm not sure that you can see, uh, it is uh, written that men actually People don't don't die. They should worship death. Now we we are told in uh, First Timothy six fifteen uh, that uh, 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 which in his times he shall show who is blessed, the only potent, the King of Kings, the Lord of God, who only has immortality. So the only one who is immortal is God, and uh, he dwells in light which no man can approach, and no man can see it. Uh, whom to whom honor and power and everlasting, amen. And for us who who accept Christ, we are promised immortality. In Romans uh, 2, 6 to 7, who will render to every man according to his is, to them who uh, by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality uh, and eternal life. So there are people who are the saints who are seeking for immortality. So if you seek for something, that means you don't possess it. So man does not possess immortality. That is why he has to seek, to seek it. So, and that immortality is when uh, Christ comes and the trumpet shall sound then, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 52, 53, uh, where immortality shall put on immortality. So how, how has the devil been working since he gained access to the world? Now, the devil has been working through the agents. Remember, uh, we the, the key verse says, he, this the, 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 the spirit of evils working miracles, going to the ends of the world, and gathering together the old world and the kings of the world. So when you study the Bible and through the, the different civilizations and empire, you can see the same thing. When Pharaoh had a dream in uh, Genesis 41.10, it came to pass he had a dream and he slept, and the second time he had a dream. And what did he do? It came to pass at the end of... Uh, it, it came to pass in the morning his spirit was troubled, so he sent and called for the magicians of Egypt. And so he called for all these people to try and explain them, but none of them could interpret the dream unto Pharaoh. So we have Pharaoh here who, who, who dreamt the dream, dream and he is looking for the agents of the devil, the magicians. And um, uh, what happened, remember what happened when Moses and Aaron went before Pharaoh and they were commanded to uh, to do a miracle before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh also had these guys who can do, who could they, to try to counterfeit the, the miracles. So uh, the, the kings of the earth are much connected to spiritualism and these leaders. So the Pharaoh also called the wise men, the sorcerers and the magicians, and they 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 tried to duplicate uh, what 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 happened. And so Pharaoh's heart was hardened as a result of of of, of uh, the magicians because they did their enchantments and uh, they were able to try and counterfeit uh, counterfeit what uh, God had done. Now. The same is seen in the in the in the in the kingdom of Babylon. You can see that in the book of uh, Daniel two, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams and he was troubled, just like Pharaoh. And he called for the magicians, the astrologers, and sorcerers, and Chaldeans, and all the wise people. But there is not a man upon this earth that can show the king's matter. That is what the wise men, the magicians, say. Uh, for as much as no king, no uh, lord, no ruler, at as such a thing of any magician 
or enchanter or, or in Chaldean. So they confessed that whatever the king was asking, they were not able to uh, to give. So, uh, uh, but unfortunately, according to what they write in their book, spiritualism has given a new heaven and new earth, and it gives knowledge of all the great system of systems of religions. I'm not sure uh, why the, the wise men were not able to produce this religion that they are claiming spiritualism gives to the king when the king required it, to the pharaoh when the pharaoh required it. So according to them, the spiritualism provides knowledge of all the great system of religion. Unfortunately, uh, uh, those guys were not able to produce this knowledge when it was required. But when Daniel came to the king, he praised the name of the Lord forever and ever because he is the one who changes times and seasons and he gives the knowledge and wisdom and understanding according to Daniel 2, 20 down to 20, uh, 22. He revealed the deep things and secret things uh, uh, we see uh, that uh, that uh, Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, the secret thing which the king has demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. Unfortunately, they brag that they are able to produce uh, knowledge of all all that is that is uh, uh, pertaining to religion. Now. Geneva history, this website says spiritualists uh, see the afterlife as a place where spirits continue to learn and develop. So it's not just a, a, a change of state. Death is not a change of state or a bridge uh, or a migration. It is a place where after the change, there is an increase in knowledge. You know, just an opposite of what we have already re uh, read in the book of Daniel. So according to them, it is a place where they continue to develop. The spirit cannot uh, can speak to us if they are more advanced than we are. Oh, so according to them, the spirits are more advanced than we are, so that is why they can be able. But then they surely can provide us with useful knowledge. I'm not sure what kind of useful knowledge they can provide. They were not able to provide that to Nebuchadnezzar and to the Pharaoh when, uh, when he required it. So when King when King Saul deceived, uh, uh, when King Saul was deceived, what uh, what is the story about the King Saul? Now we, we know what happened with King Saul. And King Saul, uh, the, the spirit of, of the Lord left him, and the Samuel died. So Saul decided that he will consult. Then said Saul, First Samuel twenty-eight seven, then said Saul and three seven, seek me a woman that had familiar spirit. I'm not sure why it is called a familiar spirit. Somebody should enlighten me. Uh, that. I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants say that to be all there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endor. So the witch of Endor, uh, Saul went to the witch of Endor. And we are told in verses 13, the woman said unto Saul, I see a God coming up out up out of the earth. So it is very clear it is a, a spirit that comes up out of the earth. So it is not uh, someone. The spirit looked like someone. Remember, angels have abilities to put on the body of human beings. Uh, remember those who came to, to visit Abraham as they were going to destroy uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. They were angels. They came, they ate. So angels could put on the Lord and his angels. They can put on the body of human beings and they can come and they can eat and they can do things. Even in the house of a Lord, they sat down, they ate. So uh, the angels have the ability. Now, the devil and his angels, when they were cast out of heaven, they were not uh, derived of their ability to do that. So they can also appear uh, in that in that in that form. So that is why they appeared. That's why this witch he 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 said he saw a god. This is a spirit coming out of the earth who uh, appeared in the form of Samuel to deceive to, to deceive Saul. Now I don't want to get into uh, all that, but we are told Saul died for his trespass which he had committed against the Lord because he kept not the counsel of the Lord. Uh, the, uh, the, he asked counsel of a familiar spirit. So the death of Saul is uh, as a result of him trying to be part of uh, divination and necromancy, trying to consult uh, the spirit through, through these witches. So uh, remember, we are told the, the girls, uh, the girls from the folks' home, they nicknamed the entity that was doing the rapping. Uh, Mr. Splitfoot, which is a nickname of the devil. So they were quite aware of what was happening, that it was the devil who was working behind the scenes. Isaiah 8, 18 says, Behold, I am the children which 
uh, the Lord had given me a prophet and to wander in Israel uh, from uh, the the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount of Zion. So we are living at a time when people want signs and wonders. You all are and the children whom the Lord has given are for signs and for wonders. People want to see things. They don't want to live by faith, but by sight. So uh, when, verse 19, when they shall say unto you, see unto them that have familiar spirit unto the wizards, that chaff and that matter, should not a people seek unto their God on the behalf of the living, should they seek unto the dead? So if you want to get knowledge, you should seek uh, from the Lord, not from uh, the dead, because the dead are dead. It is this spirit that are masquerading. So the same thing is seen throughout the kingdoms, uh, from the, the kingdoms that we have down from Babylon to the Medes and the Persians and Greece and pagan Rome and Papal Rome. So the kingdoms down, uh, we see the same, the same history uh, uh, being repeated from all the kingdom up to the last one in Revelation 13. Uh, Revelation 13. Now this stands for uh, the people of power. Revelation 13, the first beast uh, represents the people of power. The second beast representing the, the rise of, uh, of uh, the United States, which changes faces from uh, a lamb-like to a dragon-speaking, uh, a dragon-speaking-like beast. And verses 18, uh, chapter 18 of uh, Revelation, verse 23 says, the light of candles shall shine no more uh, at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more uh, at all in thee. For the merchants, for the high merchants were the great men of the earth. For by sorceries were all uh, nations deceived. So the deceptions is done through sorceries. So all these miracles and powers and uh, all these working uh, powers and miracles, the, the, the sorceries, uh, uh, they, they, they enhance the deception that is found in the world. Now, the New Catholic Encyclopedia, uh, the New Catholic Encyclopedia says, the soul in the Old Testament means not a part of man, but the whole man as a living being. So Catholicism, Catholicism actually know that a man is not immortal according to what they are writing here, that uh, a soul is actually a human being, is not a part of, remember, a man was made of dust and of the spirit to become a living soul. And they acknowledge that in their encyclopedia. Uh, similarly, in the New Testament, it signifies human life, uh, the life of an individual conscious object. So they accept that the Bible does not teach actually immortality of the soul. Unfortunately, that is what they write about immortality in the Bible. They say it is, it is not there. But when you go to the Catechism, 336 paragraph, the church teaches that every, every spiritual soul is immortal. So in the encyclopedia, they acknowledge the spirit is, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the soul is not immortal. In the Catechism, they teach that the soul is immortal. To the extent they have a symmetry, a St. Louis symmetry, number one. They're welcome to this holy place. Uh, excuse me. What is holy about a symmetry? So, according to them, a, a symmetry is holy. Holy to who? Remember, God is not a God of the dead. So, if a symmetry is a holy place, holy to who? Now, that is quite clear in the scriptures. Uh, we, we have this, uh, this, this, this uh, story of a uh, uh, the, the, the demoniac of uh, gatherings. Immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with unclean spirits uh, who, who had his dwelling among the tombs. That is Mark chapter 5, uh, verse 2 and verse 3. So the, 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 the spirits the, the, that uh, the, the graveyard is holy to is to the demon possession. Because there's a man with unclean spirits, the demons, and he's dwelling among the tombs. So the, the symmetry is is a tomb, is, is a, a holy place uh, for the unclean spirits. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, they include that to their uh, saints, and they they they, they 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 kneel bad and bow down to their saints. But we we are told God is not a God of the uh, the dead, but of the living. Now we we have these verses. We know there's a spirit of the devil working miracles. And even in present day, whether in, 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 in the state house and the white house, uh, the consultation of spiritism is and spiritualism is quite popular. The first lady consulted spiritual advisors and they know that was not senses and 
Clinton. So it goes back even in the United States, there is that connection between a lot of uh, the, uh, uh, the leadership today. Remember the kings of the earth. So uh, we, we, want to, we don't want to, I don't want to go to a lot of things here in the book of Revelation. Probably I'll mention the book of Zechariah. Now, there is a vision of a woman, the book of Zechariah. Zechariah has a lot of similarity with uh, Revelation. Actually, there, are, there is so much to learn in the book of Zechariah that was never uh, fulfilled uh, during the time when uh, Zechariah was giving his prophecies. So it, it is connected with the book of uh, Revelation. So uh, five, five, the angel talked uh, with me, went forth and said, lift up uh, thine eyes and see what is uh, what is this uh, that goeth forth. And uh, uh, I said, what is it? And he said, this is an effort that goeth forth throughout all the earth. And there I was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is the woman that is sitting uh, in the midst of the ever. And they said, this is wickedness. So we have an ever, uh, and uh, uh, inside the, the uh, inside this basket, an ever and a basket, they are dry measures. So inside this basket, I don't want to get into the, 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 the business aspect of it. Uh, there was a woman, and the angel said that was weakness, wickedness when, when the ever was removed. And a woman was seen, uh, it was wickedness. Now, uh, the wickedness is because this woman is a representation of uh, a different picture of the woman in the book of Revelation because of uh, the connection be between uh, the business aspect. I don't want to get into the business aspect of uh, what is going on there. But the most important thing uh, that is recorded in verse 9 is that there came two women uh, uh, and uh, the wind was in their wings. And they had wings like the wings of a stock. So there was a woman uh, in an ephah, uh, in a basket, and there was an ephah uh, that was on top of that basket. When the ephah was removed, the angel said it is weakness. Then there are two women that came that had wind. Wind is breath. Actually, the, the word used there, the Hebrew word is breath, and their wings, and they had wings of a stock. Now, a stock, a stock is an unclean bird. According to Revelation, unclean bird represents demons. Revelation 18, we'll read that uh, in a bit. So they took this basket to build a house in the land of Shina. The land of Shina is the land of the Chaldeans. It is Babylon. So there is a connection between the woman, the Babylon, and the woman who is sitting inside the basket with an ephah on top. And this woman who are lifted up by uh, the wings of a stock. A stock is an unclean bird. A wing, a wing represents uh, the, 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 the spirit. So this is unclean spirits that uh, uh, give, they, they, they lift these women up. And these women take the other woman to go and uh, establish a place in the land of Shina. Remember, Babylon is fallen in Revelation 18.2. is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils and the horror of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And the stock is an unclean bird, according to the Deuteronomy uh, 14. So this is a, an aspect of spiritualism that is used to establish this woman. Remember, they are carrying the basket to the land of, to establish it uh, on, in the land of Shina. So uh, the aspect of spiritualism is what establishes this woman uh, of Zechariah, and we, which is the same woman in the book of Revelation, the woman that is carried, uh, carried there. So we are told to build it a house. So the, this, the, 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 the aspect we are, we are being given here is that spiritualism is what helps these three women. They can also represent the three entities uh, of uh, revelation, that is the dragon, the beast, and the false prophets. And then we, we, they build it a house. So it is kind of an establishment in which uh, spiritualism is the foundation and uh, set them upon upon her on her own base. So the establishment of Babylon the Great is through spiritualism. That is what uh, the picture is depicted. Just uh, uh, give us a, a brief description of that. So, so uh, we are told uh, the, the ninth question here, let me read this. What does inspiration say about spiritualism? So we will be closing with this. Uh, it says something here. The doctrine of man's consciousness in death, especially the belief that spirits of the dead return to minister to the living, has prepared the way for modern spiritualism. So the doctrine of man's consciousness 
uh, that uh, especially believe that spirits of the dead return to the minister to the dead has prepared uh, the way for modern spiritualism. That is the great controversy uh, in the Edition, page 552. So here is the channel regarded as sacred through which certain works for the accomplishment of these purposes. The fallen angels who do his bidding appear messages from the spirit world. Uh, so that is what we already discussed. While professing to be uh, to bring the living into communication with the dead, the prince of evil exercises his bewitching influence upon the minds. He has power to bring before men the appearance of departed friends. Counterfeit is perfect. The familiar look, the words, the tone are produced with marvelous distinctness. Many are comforted with assurance that their loved ones are enjoying the bliss of heaven without suspicion of danger. They give ear to the seducing spirits and doctrine of uh, uh, devils. The same book, uh, with an appearance of deep interest in the well-being of their friends on earth, they insinuate the most dangerous evil. So there is a time when they will come out. Remember when we were doing the, the, the previous series, we have this externalization of the hierarchy. So we don't know what form it will take and how it will come about, but we have a picture that they will appear as departed loved ones to come and try to insinuate some errors that are still uh, being taught. Now, spiritualism teaches that man is the creature of progression, that it is his destiny from his birth to progress even to eternity towards the Godhead. And again, each mind will judge itself and not another. So don't judge me. You've heard that uh, quote several times. So judgment will be right because it is the judgment of self. So if you judge yourself, then you can make your own rules. Unfortunately, we are called to judgment in the book of Revelation 14. That is the reason we are given judgment because we have to be accountable to a higher power. So that is uh, uh, the book Great Controls 5, 5, or 4. So it is true that spiritualism is now changing its form and leaving some of its most objectionable features. It is assuming a Christian guys, but it is, it is utterances from the platform and the press have been before the public for nearly 40 years. And in this, it is its real character stands revealed. So they, these teachings cannot be denied uh, or, or hidden. So uh, we, we see that in the, in the book, uh, Great Controversy 556 and 558. And uh, now we will uh, read, Satan has been preparing for his final effort to deceive the world. So it is, it has been a progression to grow from being objectionable to acceptable, to, to moving at a high speed like of a train as we saw yesterday. And uh, uh, the foundation of his work was laid by the assurance to, given to even Eden, he shall not surely die. Little by little, he has prepared the way for his masterpiece of deception in the development of spiritualism. He has, uh, he has he has not yet reached the full accomplishment of his designs, but it will be reached in the last remnant of time. So miracles have not yet happened. We see, we see, we see a lot of miracles happening here and there, but there is a time that is coming when uh, things will happen that will uh, uh, will take us aback. So we have to be uh, to be aware. Through the two great eras, the immortality of the soul and the Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the people under his deceptions. While the former lays the foundation of spiritualism and the latter creates a bond of sympathy with Roma. Spiritualism more closely imitates the nominal Christianity of the day. It has greater power to deceive and then snare. So Satan himself is converted after the modern order of things. He will appear in the character of an angel of light through the agency of spiritualism. And... Uh, uh, miracles will be wrought. The sick will be healed, and many undeniable wonders will be performed. As the spirit will be profess, will profess faith in the Bible and manifest respects for the institutions of the church. The work will be accepted as a manifestation of divine of divine power. So we'll be looking at the miracles, and the revivals, and the, these uh, healings that are going on. We'll be looking at those things uh, in depth. So when genuine spiritualism, uh, when genuine spiritualism harmonizes with, with with Christ's Christianity, then the long prophesied millennium in in all its transcendent regions will have dawned upon illum uh, and illumined our waiting world. So they say uh, in their book is that for that when Christianity and spiritualism uh, harmonize, then they will reach uh, the epitome of their rule. That is what they are saying. So we have already seen what spiritualism is, and uh, uh, the anti uh, synonyms for spiritualism. This is the long list of synonyms, so the, the near uh, uh, 
a definition um, uh, words that have the same definition. So hexere, hudu, uh, uh, occultism, alchemy, bewitchery, bewitching, conjuring, de delivery, hoodooism, all these, uh, exorcism, abracadabra, uh, uh, talisman. So all these are a long list of words that are very related, whether it is magic or necromancy or sorcery or witchcraft or wizardry or uh, incantation or spells, they all have the same concept. So spirit, spiritism and spiritualism are identical in terms, according to the book called uh, uh, The Church, Culture and Spirit. We'll be referring to that book uh, most of uh, the time tomorrow. Adventism in Africa, uh, page 28, spiritualism, they, they are identical because they advocate uh, that uh, the death is, is not uh, death. It is a change of wavelength. For those who die, the medium is to be able to receive uh, a radiation frequency or vibration that can be sensed by an ordinary person. This will be in the form of apparition, automatic uh, writing, ecto ectoplasm uh, activities, clairvoyance, clairaudience, tel telekinesis, telepathy. We will be defining each of these uh, of these terms when we'll be studying the whole the whole aspect. So that is what uh, they are preparing. There are many who shrink with horror from the thought of consulting spiritual spirit mediums, but who are attracted by more pleasing forms of spirituality, uh, like the Emmanuel movement, Christian science, mysticism of theosophy, oriental uh, religions. They are also of, of nearly all forms of spiritism claim to have a power to cure disease. They attribute their power to electricity, magnetism, the so-called sympathetic remedies or the latent forces within the mind of man. That is the review and error, January 15, 19, 1914. Unfortunately, it is in our eyes. And actually, it is advertised in our eyes. Now, for example, Coca-Cola is quite a big company. And, uh, and they, they do advertise it by saying it is real magic, which is actually to some big extent true. Because, for, for example, if you... Uh, preparing a magic. A magic potion is always secret. Now, the, 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 the way in which Coca-Cola prepares their drink, it is a secret. So they don't tell the people, but there is, uh, they tell you it is real magic. Now, we'll be looking at uh, a, a video in closing. Um, it has uh, page 69 of their book, Sentinelio book for modern spiritualism says, it has kept silently into the pages of popular books. We saw that magazines, newspaper, as well as the stage, the screen throughout the world until unconsciously the public mind has been educated and molded into conformity thereof. So spiritualism is everywhere, every every single place. It is uh, everywhere. Now I want you to look at this uh, video carefully and then you will see a lot of things. One, the video is speaking about magic and uh, the real magic is a video produced by Coca-Cola Company. That is what we will be uh, uh, closing with. Yeah.
we'll close it there. Now, the, the video has a lot of uh, spiritualistic occult symbols. Uh, those who went through the series, uh, uh, the last, the previous series, we spoke about those symbols. So uh, they, 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 they are flashing the gods, uh, the sign of the cast. Uh, they, 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 they were men dressed as women. And then we have this uh, kind of uh, the one leading is standing on a circle with uh, uh, a, a solar wind. Uh, uh, and grab there, and then he raises his hands, and they, they are this kind of uh, energies going up and down, which is how actually spirits are 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 invoked. And uh, actually, the, the the video ends with that coming out of the bottle uh, of 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 coke. So, in other words, whatever is inside the bottle is full magic, and that is what they they are saying with all these satanic symbols and the satanic agendas. So we have to uh, to know what is happening and this so much to study. So we'll close it there as we remember our theme song uh, that uh, we have a mighty fortress that uh, for still uh, past to us, for still a mighty fortress of God, for still our ancient four do seem to work as well, his craft and power great. Uh, but we have, uh, oh, we are not the right man on our side, this right man, uh, Jesus Christ, it is he, the Lord of Zabao. So the devil is uh, climbing things, but God, has given us his grace to know what is happening. We may not be uh, deceived. So let the Lord give us the strength to learn and be open to walk in his way. So let us uh, close with a word of prayer. Uh, Father Lord, we commit ourselves before thee as we close this uh, study. We pray that you may continue engaging our brains to learn and study of thee. I give ourselves unto you that you may guide us to overcome the devil and all the plans to see clearly what the red flags are and to cite spiritualism that we may be able to censor is in our brains and in our activities in our daily lives to walk in your ways accept our prayers uh, let your spirit guide us as we uh, rest this evening we pray for your blessing let your will be done is a prayer in jesus name amen oh, my